All right, welcome, Hella, and Benny. That's Benny in your lap, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay. And we're here to discuss what I like to label an impossible recovery, this time of Benny's heart arrhythmia. Yep. And if I've got it correctly, basically, he was having heart arrhythmia like, was it six or seven times a day? Six, seven, eight times a day, yeah, over Christmas. And so you were going to take him to the vet, to have the vet look at him, and, and, and you had like a, I think it was a January 2 um, appointment. Yeah. But since, since you did optimal EFT, unseen therapist, and so on, for him, well, you tell the story, but the but the 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 episodes left almost immediately. You tell the story. Okay. Well, it started because we moved um, in at the end of two thousand and eighteen, um, and at first, Benny had heartworm when we first got him four years ago. He was treated for that, and he had like one or two episodes of arrhythmia around that time. But it hasn't been anything, for, you know, for several years. And then when we started packing up, and uh, he started to get anxious, and he would first have like one episode a day. And the way I know that he had an episode is because he would, if we were walking, he would suddenly stop, and he would look, and he would want to be picked up. And, you know, you pick up a small dog under the chest and you can feel the heart going ding, 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 ding all over the place. So, so that's yeah. how I knew that he had arrhythmia. And um, so for, for the whole time there that we were started to pack and, and get everything in boxes, we would have um, one episode a day, roughly sometimes two. And um, then we started giving him Hawthorne. And the Hawthorne kind of took care of it for a little while, and then it came back, and it got even worse. And and by the time we were moving, it was you know three, four times a day. And over Christmas, it we thought that once we had moved into the new place, he would settle, but it kept getting worse. And over Christmas, we were up to six, seven, eight times a day with these episodes. And so we 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 got uh, we we called a vet, and of course it was the holidays, so it was not a very good time. So we got an appointment for January the second, and. Uh, so, so the morning of December the 30th, I woke up early and I felt strongly like, like doing optimal EFT for Benny. And uh, I did a session for him that felt really, really good. And that day he had one tiny little episode lasting less than a minute and then he was fine. And then the next, uh, well, including today, it's been 12 days now. He, I have given him a total of three optimal EFT sessions and he has had a total of three very small episodes and the last uh, five days or so he's had absolutely nothing. So, well, okay. So you, they went from, and we talked a little bit before this recording, they went from like 10 minute episodes where they just wouldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Less, less than a minute and instead of six, seven, eight a day, it was... Um, one a day and then for the last this is january 10th right and you never did go to the vet by the way because the vet said if he doesn't have symptoms i can't do anything basically yeah so the optimal eft session apparently had a dramatic decrease and you've done three all together and in the last four or five days there's been Zero. Nothing at all. And he has so okay. much more energy. He's running around. He's playing. He's acting like a crazy little puppy. It's just complete change. He's a very yeah. happy little boy. But to have something like that go away, as near instantaneous as this is, I'm going to label it impossible. It was impossible. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Impossible defined to mean beyond the reach of the beyond the typical reach of man-made methods. Yes, so, yeah. Could you want to get behind a little bit here, because we talked about this. Um, when you were doing an optimal EFT session, uh, we use the unseen therapist. That's what we call the spiritual dimension. But you were actually right. using Jesus because that is your, that is your uh, unseen therapist, if you will. Yes, it is, yeah. So, so why don't you talk about what you did? Okay. Um, what I did was um, I, I, I imagined myself going into Benny's heart 
and then I would call forth that there's a certain feeling that I have in me when, when I feel like I'm connecting with that energy of, of Jesus. And so I would be in Benny's heart feeling that energy and feeling that energy more and more strongly and kind of seeing it or feeling it expanding inside of Benny's heart until there, there was just nothing but that vibration. And then the, the word carefree came to me and I started seeing all these images of Benny racing around in the woods, sniffing everything and wrestling with his brother and, and spinning around like he does, little Jack Russell thing, he does this spinning around thing and then go lying down in his bed and just sleeping like a, like a baby. And, and it was just, it was, it was so fully convincing. It was just absolutely real. And I had the feeling that that did it. Yeah. Well, I'm doing a little teaching here while we have this interview because we have people listening in that are mm -hmm. learning this process. What you just did, I would consider to be a, a sort of an advanced form of optimal EFT. We have a lot of steps for newcomers to do. Um, you know, we would, we would look at the possible specific events in Benny's life, like the moving and what that might have meant to him, because he's a rescue dog. You don't know what his first several years were like and how he may have been traumatized and this kind of thing. But something about that move apparently appeared anyway to trigger these episodes. Yes. Um, so another way to go about that, if, if one is not advanced to the point of developing this real sense of spiritual awareness, Jesus in your case, um, would be to focus on make up specific events uh, that would be emotionally charged, probably having to do with, with um, moving and this kind of thing. That's another way to get at this uh, until you develop which you can do with optimal EFT with enough practice until you develop this, this more comprehensive feeling that we're talking about. But nonetheless, what we did here was call on the spiritual dimension. We got an impossible result. Yes. Yes, we did. And a happy little dog. 